Welcome to the DevExpress Learn Now series, a set of quick tutorials to help you get started using our products. I'm Mihul Harry, the Web Product Manager. In this video, you'll see the new form layout control for ASP.NET Web Forms that lets you create stunning visual forms in a matter of minutes using the Visual Studio Designer. You can create some complex forms just like this one using all of the DevExpress editors that contain all the validation built in and so forth, as well as you can create simple forms such as this one. Now, let's take a look at how easy it is to create these forms in Visual Studio. We'll start by adding the new ASPX form layout control to the designer. You can find this under the DX 12.2 common controls. The ASPX form layout control has no properties initially. To edit the layout, click the Edit Layout option from the Smart Tag. This will bring up the Form Layout Editor. From here, we can create four different types of items. I'll start by adding a simple layout item. A layout item can contain one editor. Now to this, we can also add an empty layout item, and a layout group, and a tabbed layout group. Now, we can also create a standard layout item with any one of the 27 DevExpress editors. So if I wanted to create one with a text box, I simply select ASPX text box. This form layout editor allows you to define the layout options as you would in a table-based layout. So for example, if I wanted two columns here, I'll select control and change the column count to two, and automatically my layout will be reassembled. If I want the last item, to span the entire row, I'll simply change the call span property to two. Now, if I wanted to move any of these items up or down, I can select move up, move right, or move down. In this case, I want to remove the empty item altogether, so I'll simply click remove. And if I want to change the type of an editor, I can also do that by right clicking and say change item to a layout item. I can also easily insert an editor by right clicking and select add editor or using the drop down menu approach here. A layout group can also contain other layout items. For example, I can right click here and add a child layout item and a tabbed group can contain a tabbed group of layout items. Now, I can easily move an item within another item that's either a tabbed group or layout group by simply selecting the item and moving it under that hierarchy. Now, let's add a couple items to our tabbed group. I'll right click, select add child, and create a layout item for a button, as well as a layout item for a calendar. Now, you'll notice every time I create one, a new a tab item is created for us. Now, for each one of these items, we can also control the optional mark and the required mark. This allows us to define which items are required and which are optional and there's some built-in logic that automatically takes care of which one of these it will show. For example, if you have 20 optional items and 10 required items, it will show the mark for the required item and not the optional item, and vice versa if there's too many items the other way around. You can also control the settings item caption for its alignment, its width, and you can also control the tooltip. Now, once you click OK, the form layout designer will actually create these items. Typically, they will only span as wide as they need to. If you'd like to have the form layout span the 100% full width, simply set the width property to 100%. Now, another great thing with the form layout editor is you can also easily define a theme. Now, from this theme selection dropdown, I can select any one of the DevExpress themes, including the stunning new Metropolis theme. Now, let's take a look at this in action. Now, we can see very quickly and very easily, we have a very nicely table-based fixed layout for forms that lets you get at the power of all the DevExpress ASP.NET editors with their options for validation as well as theming and options for client-side API. Creating forms has become a breeze in Visual Studio now with the DevExpress ASPX form layout control. Thanks for watching. Let's see what develops.